Welcome back to the channel guys, Simply Pops here, back at it again yet with another PS5 unboxing. This time unboxing the 30th PS5 Digital Edition Anniversary. And I gotta say, right away looking at this box is very reminiscent of the original PlayStation. And just looking at the side of the box, you guys can see 30th Anniversary. You guys can see, I actually just... I hate just ripping this. That is it. Look at that. Look how it just peels off. I'm losing out on thousands of dollars right now. Woo. And look inside. You guys can see 30th anniversary. Now, I'm sure you guys probably saw a thousand and one unboxing videos. If this is your first one, drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, of course. But I'm trying to be very gentle. So, we have a box in the box. But if you look at it very closely, you can see the 30th anniversary on the PlayStation logos there. Look at it here, show you how to unbox it. But even looking at it further, you guys can see all of the PlayStations, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5, all the original designs. Wow, this is special. So yeah, Sony definitely did took care of us with this one. Of course, we have the booklet. We gotta open that up in a little bit. Uh, we have a GIF. Okay, we just simply pull this out. We know we're gonna pull everything out when we get to it. We have the controller here, most likely. And we have a bunch of knickknack. I think this is the stand, an AC power cable. And here's the console itself. And it doesn't even stop there, we have more stuff. Oh, I see more stuff here. Oh, that's different. Look at this. Oh man. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I should really whip out my gloves because everything just looks so nice. This is goodness. This is greatness that we're looking at here. So i got to whip out my Mario gloves. You guys know what I'm saying? I really did want it the PS5 Pro 30th anniversary, but by the time I got into the PlayStation Q or by the time I got into the actual website, it was too late. I think this is a poster. Okay. And then, mm, 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 mm. look at this. So it do come with this, but look at the other side. Boom. So it shows a, it shows the dual sense. So it actually shows the dual sense. Wow. I may have to actually hang this up. Let's open this up. And this is just a booklet. I'm pretty sure nothing didn't really change here. Yeah, so this is just the standard PS5 uh, user manual, how to install the vertical stand. And let's see what this is. Oh, this is the plate, right? So this is the actual disk drive plate. So if you want to install a disk drive, you can keep the theme going. So we're gonna pull this out for a second. And you can see 30, 30th is engraved in there too as well. Uh, with the little PlayStation logos on there. If you look at it closely though too, it does say 30. So nice attention to details there. But unfortunately, I do have a CD drive, but I'm not even gonna install it. I really don't use the disk drive at all. Ooh, we got way more stuff here. And this is the vertical stand. Oh, the vertical stand looks different? Wow, okay. So the vertical stand actually is different. Um, actually, I have my vertical stand in the background. It's hooked up to my PS5 Pro, but yes, this is different. This has the same gray finish, um, just like the disk drive, but I was expecting it to be the regular one, but hey, this is different. The USB Type-C, the Type-C cable, also different. Has the 30th engraved in there too as well, which is nice. And the HDMI, just a regular HDMI 2.1 cable, high speed for your high fidelity graphics. Okay, and these are the rubber feet. So the rubber feet actually, it looks a little different actually. So um, it has, instead of the white, it has the gray there. So they did put a little attention to details on the horizontal stand. Okay, cable ties and stuff. And I feel bad even just removing this sticker, but for the sake of science, we gotta, gotta do just that. Oh, it pulls down. Oh, it pulls down. 
You put your USB-C cable in there. And then you pull the, the cap right back on. Ah, okay. So now it looks like one of those OG connectors. Yeah, so these are just cable ties. You guys can see. So it has all the PlayStation colors. We didn't even get to the console yet, and I'm already like, this is a nice buildup for the console. Oh, and these are just stickers. Okay, so it comes with stickers. I've been doing this for a little while, so it's just little stickers that you put on. Now, it's, it's unfortunate you can't even buy no more, and we have to deal with the scalpers, but this is definitely a trip down memory lane. Just a lot of, like, nostalgia going on. All right, so here is the DualShock controller 30th anniversary. Oh, yes. So very, very, very nostalgic. Look at this, man. The retro PS logo. Okay, I like how gray the buttons look. Really nice. Really clean. Yeah, this is clean. And the back of the controller, PlayStation 30th anniversary. And even the triggers has that, that, classic, that classic look too as well. Okay, so here are some of my controllers right now. I actually have that same classic PS logo on my black DualSense. So, um, shout out to Flame and Toast. It's kind of like almost one-to-one. -one. Yes, this controller is a little dirty, but just wear and tear. And I have the same thing with my DualSense Edge. I just have the button white opposed to the black. Love the DualSense Edge. Make sure you guys watch my review video on it. All right, guys, you ready for this console? Here it is. So Christmas came early. Oh, they wrapped this up in plastic. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Super clean. On the side here, it says 30th anniversary. The official retro PlayStation icon on the top. Oh, and this time, the entire console is matted. Uh, except for the middle part, of course. But the plates, usually the PS5 Slim had the top portion plates on glossy. But in this case, everything is all matte. The PS5 Slim 30th anniversary. This is it. It's in this beautiful gray color. I love the theme that PlayStation have going on. I, I'm actually jaw dropped that I actually was able to secure one. And I'm actually, now before I even remove the plates and everything, I wanna, uh, I wanna properly treat this with some care. Put a little microfiber cleaning cloth down so we're not dragging it around too crazy. But I'm very curious to see how the inside is going to look like. Did that nice and subtle. You guys can see this is actually part of the plate. Now, it's unfortunate how PlayStation, they don't have support for the PS5 Pro. I would have easily put the plates on my PS5 Pro, but okay, very easy to remove the plate. Of course, you have your NVMe SSD. This is coming with one terabyte of storage right out the box. And this is where you install your disk drive and the disk drive, it comes, it did came with the disk drive plate. So if you ever want to install that, you could be able to put it on and just put on the plate just like this. I'm not gonna put this on now, but that's where you have the plate here. That's as far as you guys get in it for me, man. I'm not going knee deep into this, you know, you got to probably watch Spawn Wave or something like that. So ladies and gentlemen, there you guys have it. That's the PS5 30th anniversary digital edition. This is not the Pro. I really wanted the Pro, but it was hard to get. But if you guys enjoyed, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think. And until next time, I hope you all have a simple day. Peace.